Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video on the NestJS Advanced Course. And here we are talking about NestJS with the Type ORM. Uh, I mean Type ORM migrations, the Type ORM latest version to 3.x and how to just uh, do the transactions, how to use the Type ORM 3.x APIs with the NestJS. So we are already uh, have worked on this. This is the example which uh, we were working on in our previous videos. Now, uh, what I will do is I will just try to show you by running this application. It's uh, already not running, so npm run start dev. Okay, and then we will try to just do some changes so that we can uh, get this application running. Address is already in use, that means this application is already running here. We can see this is running on port uh, 3010. Okay. And this is your database URL, which is being used by database module. So we can just go here and try to see this. Okay, these are our APIs. I mean, this is just like a basic uh, restaurant management API where you can just create your restaurant, add the dishes to the restaurant. I copied this example from my full stack application. And here I can just try to get all the restaurant which is coming empty, right? Because there is no restaurant exist. Now we are trying to add on uh, this uh, typo rm 3.x apis on the methods here to showcase how to work with typo rm 3.x so this is our simple application here i did some changes which i wanted to apply to the database so if you want to just do you can just run the migration i mean you can generate the migration cd apps and we are on the port project npm run and uh, the command is migration generate and you just put the name name and the name is uh, let's say src migrations and i will just put food order version 3 4 v5 so what it is doing is it is just trying to see if there is any change there is no change found uh, Let's see, we have a database package. And here, uh, what is our synchronized property? Synchronized is false. That is fine. So now if I do some changes in the database. Let's say this is source. And inside, I add something inside the entity. Let's say. So address we already have, website URL. We can say title and here I'm just trying to generate this migration. We are not able to do it because I think it is applying the changes directly by the sync property. So whenever I'm changing the uh, entities, it is applying those changes. You can see alter column restaurant add title. So what happens is I started this application and then I changed this database module synchronized flag. So that is not reflected here. But what happens is right. What is happening right now is uh, this project is using this type RM module and the, there it is taking synchronized true. So whenever I'm doing the entity change, all those changes are getting reflected here to make. I mean to disable this, you can just uh, do one thing is you just build this project first. So what you can do is uh, for building the project and patching the latest version of the project, you can use NX console. Okay, NX console, the client is not running. Do we have NX JSON profile here? Yes, we do have. I don't know what's the problem here. But what we can do is we can build this with the latest version because uh, we did changes in the database. So we need to build the database uh, first, run in the integrated terminal, or we can just publish a new version. Why I'm saying is, let's say, I'm just saying this version is 1.0.1 and then npm run build. Okay. I need to build it from this NX command only because I'm using some root level package definition. So what I will do is I will close this terminal, close the VS code and reopen it. 
and after starting I can see this so I can just build this one so it is just building this package and I'm trying to get the latest version of this database package and then you can build your application which is 04 I lost the track of the names of these applications I will go to the package JSON and try to know which project it is nest J, I mean nest JS type or API is okay let's go there nest JS type or API is this one and I will build this again so that it can have the latest changes in the done in the database package added here because you can see NX console is waiting for the dependent module so this is all NX first it will build the database package and then it will include the database package inside it and how we can make sure the changes has been imported go to node modules dev our database build inside db module.js I can see synchronize false that means it won't be running my application it won't be uh, restarting my application whenever there is a database change so let's go to cd app I mean I can start this application from the next console also npm run start dev and then I will do is I will start doing some changes so this is started now this is not the application I wanted to start because there that was the restaurant application so it's in 04 project npm run start dev okay because uh, names are kind of similar we'll rename it to 03 I will rename it to 04 so we can avoid some confusion 04 and I will go to next console 0304 and I will build it and then I will start dev it I will do start dev so it can start running start dev project we can also check uh, 04 uh, node modules dev database to just cross check that everything is good so this should be using synchronized false that's good and now if I change anything in the database is it reflecting those changes back because we don't want to apply those changes right away we want to do it through the migration let's say I'm just changing this to this column okay that's fine it is not applying the changes in the database so let's say I'm just changing it to description or oh, let's introduce a new column instead of updating this so there is a restaurant type default null so what I will do is I can just play around with these uh, APIs type for migrations so I can just do npm run migration I can just copy and paste that command so this is migration generate and give that give it a some name npm run migration generate and give a particular name to this migration v5 let's say so it will create this v5 migration which I will move it to the migrations folder and you can see v5 contains only that you added just a type and then I will just do npm run migration run that will run the migration against the database so using this you are not using the synchronized true you are actually running the migrations and then applying those migration changes against the database so that is the right way I mean for production this is how you should do it on the development you can just change this on the fly by doing the synchronized true property so whenever you change the entities it will automatically impact your database okay so now I can start playing with these APIs let's say I want to fetch the restaurant it is making these queries so I think here is my application running right here I'm trying to fetch all the restaurants so now what is the next thing is we can start using some of uh, the features let's say I wanted to create a restaurant 
how it is working uh, i will just give it a try if it works okay it is working so we are able to create a restaurant and then i can just try to fetch it and i'm able to get it right so how all these things are working we can also use type forum transactions just to play around and uh, you create the restaurant with the transactions so let's see here how we are creating a, a restaurant right so you will hit the controller restaurant controller and here we do have post api post api create restaurant right it is taking some payload object and then it is doing create restaurant right so how what i'm trying to do here is i'm just trying to play around with the transactions the old way of doing it and then we will just use the new way of doing it so create a restaurant and here if you see uh, my constructor i will just try to hide other methods which are coming in our way yes so here we are using this connection so there are two different ways connection is right now deprecated connection is a single database orm specific to database and this declaration was marked deprecated but how we were doing earlier this dot connection dot create query runner so it is giving us the query runner and then you can just do connect start transaction commit transaction once the operation is done so we i'm doing a simple two different writes write to the restaurant table and write to the restaurant address table right because i'm getting the payload address object also restaurant address so which i'm inserting inside a restaurant address table this dot create address so if any of these are failing then obviously we can just roll back the transaction instead of commit it will be roll back if everything is done it will commit all the the right operations okay so here it is starting what i will do is i will try to create the restaurant and here i did insert swiggy so app so what it is doing if you try to see from the query we can understand start transaction it did the insert it did the insert on the restaurant address and the restaurant table and then it did the commit transaction that's it right so same thing now with the type form because this is deprecated what else we can use we can also use private read only uh, maybe data source data source we are getting and here instead of uh, connection i can just to use this dot data source dot create query builder that exists on data source also and i think everything else can be can stay same we don't need to change anything and i will just try to play around with this if uh, it works so here i will just say swiggy f version 2202 it is able to create the data that means it works right so this is just another way of uh, creating the transactions so here instead of connection we are just using this dot data source dot create query builder so all those things whatever we were doing with this dot connection you can do same with the this dot data source right this dot data source dot query runner and on the query runner you can do query, query connect uh, start transaction commit transactions under or roll back or finally release right and you can pass this query runner to any methods because query runner will give you uh, uh, a manager object entity manager object on which you can do a dot save dot find all these different operations because if you are passing the same query runner because that means all the read write you are doing from uh, from different methods can be rolled back until unless you don't do a commit i mean if there is any error occurred all these will be rolled back so if you are passing the same query runner that means all those all those read write happens in one transaction this is the the way to deal with the type rm transactions using nestjs i mean nestjs is a framework only here but this is how we are doing type rm transactions which is there in 3.x